Hello, hello, my butterflies. Hello, hello tonight, my butterflies. Hello, how y'all doing tonight? I hope everyone is doing fine. I surely hope everyone is doing fine. I'm doing okay myself. Can't complain, won't complain. I just come in here to do, I figure I come in to do a little chit chat. A little story time, chit chat, I guess. Um, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but I might, you know, talk about a few things. <sighs> Hope everybody had a wonderful, awesome, and blessed day today, and a very safe Monday. Also, I certainly hope so. Welcome to my new subscribers. I like to say welcome to you all. And thanks for subscribing to my channel. And you're very, very welcome here. Very welcome here. And I'm so happy for y'all to be here. So thank you. Thank y'all so very much. First of all, y'all. I just have to talk about when I went to uh, Walmart uh, this past Saturday. You mean they make, make a few groceries or not, you know, whatnot. Y'all, the eggs was off the chisel. Do y'all hear me? The eggs was off the chisel as far as the price is concerned. The prices of the eggs. Eggs, a, a carton of eggs now, y'all. A dozen of eggs. Five dollars and something. A dozen of eggs. Seven dollars and something. I mean, a dozen. Now, mind you, I am used to going to Walmart getting 36 eggs. The double, the double packs of uh, 18, 18 uh, uh, um, eggs in each carton. So all together, that's, you get two of them together, plastic wrapped together, you get 36 eggs. And guess how much I used to pay for that? <laughs> I used to pay $2.50, y'all. $2.50 is what I used to pay. Guess how much they are now? You will not believe it. You will not. They went all way, 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 way far over the Regular price. Sixteen dollars and something, y'all. Sixteen dollars and something. Highway robbery is what I'll call it. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. I'm drinking all this water, honey, just got me belching like crazy. But um Yeah. The prices on them eggs, honey, is crazy. Here's my water right here, y'all. I love, love, love my water. But uh, anyway, anyhow, back, back to these darn expensive eggs. You better off if you can go to Dollar Tree and, and, and get the... Um, Eggs for the dozen of eggs for a dollar and twenty five cents per dozen. You're lucky if you can find some in there because you know everybody gonna run to the Dollar Tree. You know that's the first place they're gonna go after going to Food Line, Walmart, or wherever you shop for your groceries. Cause those eggs are much much too high, super high. I thought I won't pass out when when I saw that sixteen dollars when I used to pay two dollars and fifty cents. For 36 eggs. I mean, I used to pay $2.50. Now it's $16 and some change. I'm like, Lord, what is this world coming to? It's crazy. The prices are crazy. That's why they're giving people an uh, increase in their Social Security. They're giving people um, um, increase, increases in uh, um, IRS payments or whatever. Uh, price of living increase, you know, 
because this thing is just getting crazy. I mean, wow. And some of the, you know, shares be kind of bare and stuff, you know, when you go into the store these days, you know, a lot of stuff they don't ran out of. I'm like, my goodness, what are they going to do, run out of food next? I mean, who knows the way things are going um, this far, the way things are going. It's looking pretty crazy. Um, now, on another note, another conversation. Another conversation. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna say this is gonna be like a topic. And normally I don't do, I don't do topics on this channel. All uh, I do is from time to time I do topics on Talk and Sip with Cynthia C channel. That's my second channel. Talk and Sip. In case you're not subscribed over there, Talk and the and sign. The and is like the and sign, um, like a, a capital cursive S. That and sign, not A N D, not A N. Talk and sip with Cynthia C. I haven't been on that channel in a minute, but uh, I'm planning to be back over there uh, before this month is out. The month of January is out, so I will be back over there uh, again. I'm trying to regroup. You know, I got to regroup, and um, I had to stay on this channel to get this channel up and going, and it's going pretty good so far. Can't complain. Can't complain. Won't complain. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna, what I'm going to talk about now is, um, I had mentioned something, a video I was talking, uh, I made, um, a video I made about, um, um, Nicole, of course, and I was saying, oh my goodness, y'all, do y'all think she have anxiety? Because, you know, at her young age. And I put that out for a reason. I put that video out for a reason. Because I figure, you know, if I get the feedback from it, then I'm going to make it a topic. And I was getting a lot of feedback from, um, you know, um, um, Nicole, of course, having, you know, being a person with anxiety. And I know that lots of people can get anxiety, young and old. When I say young, I mean children. But I wanted to discuss this because when you can discuss cures for something like anxiety, I say it's a good thing because we all go through it. Or you, you've been through it. Um, you're going to go through it. If you haven't been through it, you probably will go through it sometime, sometime in your life if you ain't already been through it. Some people take medication for it. Mm-hmm. I know some people that have taken medication for it, but I've I have had I don't know how many um uh, uh um episodes of um, anxiety. You know, it happens. It can happen any place at any time. But um I was thinking I'd throw the topic on out there uh tonight and see if, if we can get any feedback on this thing while it's curious because you know, I'm sure, you know, some people, I don't say everybody, but I'm sure some people that have been through it can uh, figure out cures for it other than uh, taking pills. Other than taking medication. I think there's some natural cures for anxiety. So this topic is concerning anxiety. And it's something that I wanted to talk about because, oh, I have experienced it, honey. Well, I experienced, experienced it so bad one time, honey. I was in the ambulance on my way to the hospital. And that's been about... How many years ago that been? I'll say about... Hmm, eight. About eight years ago. Oh, honey, that anxiety thing. I had it since I was young. When I was a young kid, I had it. Oh, yeah. I ain't ashamed to say it. And like I say, anybody can get it. I don't know I don't know yet if it's a hereditary or not, or just a natural thing that, you know, can happen to a person, an individual. But, yeah, I used to get it a lot when I was young. And it just got worse when I got older. 
Um, I had an episode that uh, that sent me to the hospital. Is um, was a lot going on in my life at that time, and um, uh, and then you got family. You know, you got family life going on, and you know, you got stress in your life. You know, everybody get get stressed, or you know, from time to time. You got your ups, you got your downs. That's part of life. We all know that. That's part of life. Um, no complaints about that because hey, that's a part of life. You know, things going to happen in your life sometimes that, you know, going to throw a monkey wrench in this and throw a monkey wrench over there, you know, in, in your life or what you're doing or whatever. But my eyes had gotten so bad that at that time I was hearing all kinds of conversations from different people in the family, you know, their problem, their stress, the, and, you know, and, and you take on other people's stresses and, and burdens or whatever, it can do something major to you, honey sucking in all that from all different directions so what i'm going to explain to y'all what it did to me what it did to me it had gave me it took over my body and it had me shaking it had my nerve it's just the, the the nerve the the anxiety nerve took over my body and had me shaking like i was freezing my nerves had done, took over my body. My body had shut down. Anxiety had took over. It was so bad, I had to go to the hospital. I had to go because I couldn't stop shaking. So it had me feeling, you know, all anxious and hot, beating fast, palpitating and all that kind of stuff. And um, I, when, I get, when I got to the hospital, the doctor, when he came to talk to me, before he examined me, he asked me, he said, um, what what are you so worried about? And I was thinking about that thing, you know, it triggered something in my head when he said that. I'm like, yeah. I said to myself, you know, yeah. What am I worried about? People brought all this stuff to me, and, and you know, in my ears, for me to hear, and all those things had nothing to do with me. But I'm the one that was left with that heavy load of sucking in everybody's situations, everybody's problems and things. That it took toll on my body. Because see, I'm the kind of person, I will listen to you. I will listen to your problems, your situation, and all of that. But at that particular, that particular night, I just let things go too far. As far as I was hearing too much. I, I should have cut it off at a certain time. Say, you know, hey, that's it. That's enough. You know, I don't want to hear no more. But I didn't. I'm the caring person that I am. I just, you know, sat there or stood there and just, just listen, you know. You know, to people or problems, situations or distress that they, they hold. It took over me. Because it all came into me and my body. It just took over it. And, you know, it's a scary thing when you think about it. It really is because... You have to know how to control it. For one thing, you breathe through it. It's a good thing it's a breeze, breathe, you know, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. For one thing, you have to calm yourself down. That's the number one thing, you have to calm yourself down. So when I was in the hospital at that time, laying in the hospital bed, I um, I was asking the guys in the ambulance. I was asking, look, can y'all give me some some something to stop me from shaking? I said, because my I just can't stop shaking. I said, I'm cold. I can't stop shaking. I mean, my my body had done shut down, y'all. When I say shut down, it had shut down. It really did. I, I had no control over it. It took control over me. And um, I told my I told my husband, he was standing there beside me. I said, um, let me see some pictures of my grandbabies. I say, just you know, pull out your wallet. Let me let me see some pictures or one picture or something. And he went into his wallet and he pulled out a picture of my grandbabies, all four of them. As I was looking at the pictures. I felt a whole calmness coming over my body. 
and my body started calming down. And then the smiles on their faces made me smile. And I was like, well, look at God. Look at here. I calm right on down. And like that doctor say, when he asked me, what are, what are you so worried about? And I was like, oh, well, you know, my um, children, you know, be going through things and they talk to me and tell me their problems and stuff. And I just listen, listen, listen to, I couldn't listen in the morning. It just shut me down. So I had to find my own system, my own way. Because I say I refuse to take medication every day of my life for it. That it, which is anxiety. I said I refuse. I said I refuse. Now when I was a young girl, every time I stepped out the door, say I won't say I'm going out the house, I'm going to the store or whatever. No, it really hit me when I was about in my teens. I always had to have something in my hand to fumble with as I'm walking down the street, you know, on my way to the store or whatever. I always had to have something you know, it calmed my nerves. You know, it kept me less anxious. Cause like when I when I was empty-handed, I felt more anxious, and anxiety used to kick in. So it could be hereditary. I think it is. So if y'all have any comments of, about this uh, topic, y'all can leave it in the comment section below. And I wish y'all would because, you know, it could help some people out there that has it. And yes, I prayed about it. And another thing that uh, helped me with my anxiety was um, um, thinking happy, thinking happy thoughts, thinking about good things, think, thinking about good and happy thoughts. Think good, you know, the good things to come. You know, things you hope for, things you wish for. I mean, you know, all that kind of, you know, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, anxiety ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. And I put it out there like I did using um, uh, um, Nicole, of course, because I watched one of her videos and she was speaking of anxiety. She was speaking of how she had it around when she was around a bunch of people. So um, I said that's a good topic to speak on and which I can, you know, put a lot into talking about that because I've been through that too myself. Oh, I used to go through it a lot. But you have to learn how to cope with it, learn how to conquer it. And if the things I spoke of tonight about it, um, how I got through with mine, I hope it could help somebody else out there that might have the situation with it and might be on the pills, you know, medication for it. And hopefully, you know, they don't have to be on medication for it anymore. Hopefully, they can get rid of the medications, you know, medication. Sometimes the medication make you feel worse, I think. But uh, that's what I think. But, you know, I don't like taking a lot of medicine, period. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed this little story time. It's uh, about 18 minutes and 56 seconds in. And um, I hope it's very, very helpful for somebody. I don't care if it helped one person out there. In the YouTube world, YouTube streets or whatever. I mean, it would make me feel really wonderful. Really, it would make me very happy to know that I helped somebody get through their anxiety and get over their anxiety. Never take on too much that you, you know, you can't handle. You know, as far as other people's stresses, other people's uh, situations, other people's problems. I mean, I don't care if they're family members. Or some things you just have to pray for, you know, people, your family, whatever. You have to pray about it, you know. Take it to the Lord in prayer. You can't just put it all on yourself because I'm telling you what happened to me. It took over my body. I couldn't do a thing about it. I couldn't do nothing about it. So, um, yeah, until my next... um story time 
I'm going to let y'all go for now. Y'all have a wonderful, awesome, safe, and a very blessed night, rest of y'all night. And um, I'll, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Y'all don't see me tonight, but I will see y'all tomorrow, and y'all will see me tomorrow. Okay? Good night, all. Y'all, please leave some feedback on this subject, this topic. Please leave some feed, feedback because I'm here for you. If you need any kind of help from me about this topic, um, and you need some further conversation about it, I'm right here. I'm right here for you. All right, y'all. I love y'all. Bye-bye.